All right, next up we've got Alex Bedos. You guys know him. You love him. He's very spoken and spoken for, of course. Let's uh, let's get into it. He's also a staff. What am I? What am I critiquing a staff member of of Art Station for? What is happening? Here, I'll link his uh, portfolio in chat. That's a first. It is a first. So, uh, Alex would like some thoughts on his portfolio if it landed on my desk for a senior role, which is, I mean, you're a senior, but I guess you want my opinion on like what, uh, what I what I like and and don't like. So, what are your thoughts, concerns, likes, and dislikes? Uh, bear in mind all the article stuff at the bottom will be removed uh, later. So down here, I mean, already the way you've organized this is is pretty nice. And I'm a big fan of material portfolios having like the unified background where you can't see the uh, the seam. Maybe the spheres are too large. Um, but yeah, all of the article stuff, you're going to be adding to your uh, blog at some point. So we'll assume that those are all gone. You've got um, some type of commonality between the the color palette of your work as you go from the bottom to the top uh, and then you've got your scenes so you're you're really emphasizing that you're an environment artist even though you take uh, a lot of time and and have a lot of pride in in your creations of materials um, right off of the bat I think if I was like all right yeah we need a senior environment artist people apply I get this portfolio and I look at it and so for me, I don't know what it is about this one, but I don't, if I, if I grab all of these, this one's barely as interesting as this one. Like this one's just a little bit more interesting than the out of gas one. I don't know why. It feels like the, I mean, when I click on it, I like I know what it is and I know how it was made and and all that stuff. And you're just you're trying to replicate reference, right? So I mean, that's cool. You've even taken the the stairs a little bit further, because I think, I think if you would have done it exactly like this, then it would have looked three D, in a weird way. Do you need a blog as an environment artist? I think you should have a blog regardless because it's a good place to post stuff uh, when it's when you're trying something out or testing something or uh, it's not work that you want to really truly represent your portfolio to employers. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, as far as this goes, it was well executed. But I, when I see it next to like your other work, like this could go here and then these two could move forward. I look at this one and I'm like, dude, like that's so cool. I feel like there's not enough motion in the trees to warrant the, the cables bouncing around. But I see this and I go, yeah, this is we're, we're like this is storytelling stuff going on here. And that that to me is really cool. This one is also um, shows like the fidelity. Whoa, I never saw that transition before. The frame rate of that is really low. Is that just me? So when you go from this shot to the next shot, I think... Um, the contrast difference between the two is so different that it's kind of jarring. Like I think that shot, maybe we could go with another, another bright shot. Like from that one to the, to the screen one might've been pretty good, but I, hmm. yeah, we're getting nitpicky. This is, I love this scene. There's like so much stuff going on in it. I would say maybe if, uh, if the, if the newspaper was less contrasty, like the paper was a little bit darker from like age and wear, 
then it would blend into the ground more and just become more of the complexity of the ground itself. But uh, this overall is really cool. And I love the fact that you worked with um, someone else. Uh, where is it? Is that, is that in here? Yeah. For like, for the weapons and, and whatnot. Super cool. First time using a UE4 sequencer. Looks like the staff doesn't get a higher video size. <laughs> uh, so I'm like thinking, okay, if I got a team, I need a senior environment artist. I normally am not too much of a fan of uh, seeing an environment artist that's also like, oh, yeah, I do materials. And, you know, they'll have like one or two, three materials in there. And they're kind of like you can tell they, they dip their toe into the pool, but they haven't really like dived in. Like looking at your portfolio, Alex, I see scenes that are interesting. They're varying quite a bit in the, the palette that you're choosing and you're trying to tell stories in all of them. Uh, and then I see all these materials and, and names to it. And then I see you like doing stuff in your free time. I mean, I personally, I know that you do a lot of stuff in your free time. So you're always very busy. So I have to exclude that and just note it down. Like I'm seeing it here as like seeing your portfolio for the first time, for example. Right. And so seeing that you're, you've got this series that you made, you've got, you've worked with Decagon as a material artist, you've got material, you've got stylized materials that are also substance designer. This one gets a lot of attention. Um, nice. There's a walkthrough. <laughs> Forgot about that. Uh, so I think this is easily like senior, like you have an eye. And I think your of your scenes, this is this one and this one fight for the best. Uh, you could keep this one here and just swap these two. This one's interesting. Man, I wish there was a way to hide that bar. Like if you're not mousing over it, that should just fade away. But this one's cool. It shows a little bit more of your technical side or your interest in, in the technical side of things. <laughs> I was just about to say, we need a way to uh, hide pop-ups. Uh, like you, I don't know if you can turn that off or not. Yeah, so reordering the environments would be good. I, I'm not, I mean, this is, this is a good scene, but it, I feel like it doesn't do anything for your portfolio. I don't know. So it's just not, it's not hitting me, right? If that makes sense. Josiah, what's up, man? How you doing? Raggedy, is it? Is it because it's a vi uh, it's a GIF? I think it was a video. It looked like a video to me. Was video? Yeah, I thought I thought so because I don't think the GIFs show the little uh, timeline. This one's super interesting as well. Yo, that's a giant image. <laughs> I mean, the video is is still going to look better than the GIF. It's just a nitpick about how the videos uh, display. Yeah, see, so like, I guess with the, the complexity, like when I click this guy, um, I mean, I, I guess it doesn't really matter too much to me in the presentation. If you were, if you were doing like, see, it says blender simulation, which is cool. What I've actually noticed is when I mouse over stuff, I don't actually read the, it's very rare that I read the, what, what is popping up. But uh, overall, your portfolio is is um, is solid, and the variety of materials is really good. 
I like the way you're organizing the materials, the way you're presenting them. Overall, your your environments are good. You could remove this one, but I mean, it's all good, man. It's nice to see um, like a skew or like a like a spread of environments that are different. I guess is is what I what I want to say. Yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah. I don't know. This is this is definitely I mean, you're a senior environment artist and I agree with that. You're you're actually in a position more so where I would expect you to be more of like you're heading in the direction of like you can organize stuff really well, but like benchmarking things and making environments that are geared towards like getting a specific image or quality or look across that the entire team can follow. That's like more of like an expert artist or, or um, it's going down the, the other channel instead of lead, you go down expert. And I think you're, you're heading down that way. Cause I think you still like to, I think you like to get your hands dirty. Yeah. Expert or principal. Those, those are the same thing. The industry I've heard both of those principal and expert artists are kind of in the same category. And I've also heard principal two and um, expert two or architect as, as you continue to go. Yeah. Yeah, Alex. Um, but yeah. I have not heard advanced artists. That's interesting. That's a new one. Expert principal artist. That's where I would say you would be considered architect. There should be very few architects. But uh, Alex, do you have any other other questions? Oh, here it is. One question. Go, go. Got rid of the logo for photo for art brand logo versus photo. What do you mean? You mean here? Profile photo. Yeah. I prefer photo. I like to know who the person is, even if they're trying to be George Clooney. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course you know where I live. You know that Maru guards me while I sleep, right? He's like a like a three-headed dog sleeping on the door. Um <laughs> Not tonight though. If you can get here today, I'm vulnerable. You can you can take me out. Just bow. But yeah. It's a solid portfolio, man. I want to see more environments. <laughs> and I know I know some stuff's coming soon, right? I mean, you're working at Counterplay. Counterplay Games. Something's going to drop. But uh, cool. Thanks for sharing, dude. Let's, uh, let's get on to the next one. <laughs> 